So I'm going to actually have a little fun with this video. Uh, we are, what, maybe 20 videos into the course, and it's, we're just now answering what is analysis services. Um, uh, this is a really short video, actually. We have covered all of the things about what the basics of what data warehousing is all about. So you should now have an understanding of the bold statement. SQL Server Analysis Services is a multi-dimensional OLAP and data mining server. That's what it is. There's your answer right there. Now, I wish that I could have started with this video, but it wouldn't have made sense. If I gave you that sentence, would you have understood what I meant by multi-dimensional? Would you have understood what OLAP was? Uh, would it have made sense how data mining fit into that? Probably not. We had to go a long way to get to being able to understand that statement. You had to have an understanding of what a data warehouse is, what multi-dimensional databases are, why would you even need a multi-dimensional multi database? What is data mining? We didn't have all of that. We kind of had to set the groundwork before we could even understand what the core product was. Right? Now, a lot of times when I talk to people, you hear uh, that we, if the word data warehouse comes up, oh, well, you need analysis services. That's, the, that's Microsoft's data warehousing server. And that's kind of true, right? That's a, uh, a, a partial truth. Uh, it is a data warehousing server, but Microsoft, the SQL server, the database engine, right? You could have your relational data warehouse there. So analysis services is the multi-dimensional data warehouse server. Okay. All right. Remember this diagram because we're going to work with this as our paradigm for the rest of the chapter here. This was our OLTP systems, right? This was our relational OLAP. And where was that stored? What, what type of uh, system? That was a SQL Server, right? So that was our relational data warehouse. And what, what was the tool that we were going to use to feed the relational data warehouse? We uh, use SSIS to do what's the process? ETL, right? Extract, transform, and load. Okay, so we load the data warehouse using SSIS. Okay. Now then we populate our cube. So we have over here our multi-dimensional OLAP. And this is where analysis services fits. That's our SSAS cube. And what's the tool that we use to load it? It's also SSIS. Okay, but this time we're processing the cube. Okay, we're not just raw bringing it in like we were with the previous ETL process. Okay. And do you remember the server on the right hand side? Uh, we talked about this being our reporting server. Uh, you could, you know, depending on your variation of this diagram, that could be the client directly accessing the multi-dimensional OLAP. Generally speaking, it will be a report server so that your clients have a single little point uh, that they can go to to run previously stored reports. This would be something like reporting services, um, right? Um, that at least is what we're going to use uh, for this course. So where does analysis services fit in the equation? It fits right here, right? That's us. All right. So that's where your users go for reporting, right? They could go back to the data entry systems, but that'd be really slow. They could go to the relational data warehouse, but that would be even slower because there's a lot more rows. So the multi-dimensional database, right, has the pre-calculated aggregates. So it's much, much faster, right? And because it stores the pre-calculated aggregates, the query results are near instant, where they might have been 20 minutes or two hours had you gone to one of the other places to get the data. All right. Well, I told you it would be quick, but that's what it is.